June is Caribbean American Heritage Month and members of Congress are celebrating and honoring those both in the islands and the mainland United States. And this week our Washington correspondent Mac and Adler will be sharing their stories starting today with Florida Congressman Darren Soto. Members of the Congressional Caribbean delegation often rely on other members of Congress to help get their bills passed. And Florida Congressman Darren Soto is often a go-to. We have a close relationship between Florida and the Caribbean. We style ourselves as part of the Caribbean. And so many folks in Central Florida are of Caribbean descent, whether it's myself being of Puerto Rican descent, Jamaican, Haitian, uh, and uh, Bahamian or Cuban or Dominican, so many of those populations are in our areas. Soto is the lead House Democrat behind the Puerto Rico statehood bill, but his work goes beyond that. For Caribbean American Heritage Month, we've already highlighted several of our constituents from entrepreneurs uh, to doctors uh, to other uh, key local heroes. And there's some really important issues we're working on. First, vaccine diplomacy. We know as we are making sure to have enough vaccines for the United States, we're starting to now look to the rest of the world. And the Caribbean needs to be a priority for vaccine diplomacy, making sure that the United States is helping get the Caribbean vaccinated. We saw in Jamaica just recently, they had a huge spike. Soto is on the House Energy and Commerce Committee, so there is also a focus on trade allowing some of the Caribbean's most famous products to be enjoyed around the world. Everything from music and food products and spices to rum and beers. There are so many different types of products that we in Florida love to enjoy that come from the Caribbean. So commerce is a big part of it. In Washington, Matt Knabler, One Caribbean News.